Hey Real Dealers, this is Charles Blair and I have another how to execute marketing video and cheat sheet for you guys. Now, this is one of my favorite strategies. In fact, this strategy has been responsible for getting us deals for uh, many a years. Let me tell you that. It's called Pretty in Pinks. Now, why? It's based on the fact that when you do a failure to pay rent notices, one of the actual carbon copies is a pink notice, or should I say a pink copy of the failure to rent notices. Hence the name Pretty in Pinks. Now, here's what this strategy is all about. It's about getting you deals at the courthouse landlord filings failure to pay rent notices. So let's go inside and take a look at the actual PDF. As you can see, we're at the PDF right now and it's called How to Execute the Pretty and Pink Strategy. This is a great strategy to find motivated landlords. Those new landlords who just purchased the property uh, six, seven, eight months ago, now they're going through the eviction filing process and they're just fed up with being a landlord. This is also going to be a great strategy if you're doing tenant placement. You want to do guaranteed rent. Uh, there's a bunch of ways in which you could really have an exit out of these deals when you're negotiating with these landlords. Let's go through the actual process, beginning with where do you start off at? Okay. We start off at the rent court building, which is in Baltimore City. It's located at 501 East Fayette Street. And here's the actual building itself. You'll find on the actual PDF and so on. So once you arrive at that building, you want to head inside and they're going to put you through the metal detector or the whole nine yards they normally do at a courthouse. But you're going to have to go down to the basement level. There's two ways of getting to where we want to get the actual failure to pay rent notices at. It's in the basement. You can get off the elevator and just make a left. You'll see an actual open space window where you can walk up to the counter and just say, hey, I want to get the failure to pay rent notices. And they'll give you a big stack of notices. Or... You could go down the stairs and it'll be right there on your left hand side once you get to the bottom of the stairs and just ask for the failure to pay rent notices. The key to the notices is you're able to take these notices and go to a table and actually pull the information you off off that you need, but you cannot take the notices out of the building. Now, they don't allow you to take pictures unless you do it on the down low, if you know what I mean. But the key here is putting information in a nice Excel spreadsheet, gathering information, and show you exactly what the actual notices look like and what information you're looking to get. If we scroll down further, this is what the actual failure to pay rent notices is going to look like. And you'll notice we have different information on this notice, such as the landlord's name, the actual tenant's name, the landlord's address, the landlord's telephone number. Did you hear me? the landlord's telephone number. All of that information is, can be found on this notice. And inside of the actual cheat sheet, we've even put, we've even numbered it so you can see exactly what section you'll find the landlord's information, what section you'll find the tenant information, and so on. So once you gather all this information off of the actual failure to pay rent notice, now you're going to take that information home and you're going to execute the strategy of marketing to that landlord. And there's a number of, way, a number of ways in which you can do that. I mean, you could easily send the person a letter, do a slide broadcast. Uh, you can do uh, a, a cold calling, hitting the person to their home. There's a lot of ways in which you can execute these strategies. And we've gotten them written out right here in the pink sheet. So that's why I like to call this the pretty and pink strategy. Now, keep in mind that this is a great way for you to get all types of deals, buy and hold deals, tenant placement deals, rent to own deals, even guarantee rent deals. So keep that in mind. Not one strategy is the same strategy all of the time, but this is a great way to get motivated landlords. If you want to get your hands on the PDFs, just put in the comment section below. Charles, give me that PDF and I will make sure you'll get that PDF delivered to your email. This is Charles Blair, the Mad Scientist, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.